Hi everyone and welcome to part 3 of Vimcal. In this video, I'm going to teach you about group vote feature on our Vimcal software. If this is the first time you're watching this tutorial, you can watch part 1 and 2. The link will be in the screen or in the caption down below. Hi everyone, my name is Mia and I have been an executive virtual assistant since 2021. Prior to being a VA, I didn't have any experience in freelancing or as an executive virtual assistant. I am now an operations manager handling a team of executive virtual assistants and working closely with their clients. This tutorial is about a software called Vimcal EA. This is an amazing software specifically targeting calendar management. One of the hardest skills that you need to learn as an executive virtual assistant is calendar management. You need to be very careful in your client's calendar. We have been using for the past few years different softwares outside of Google Calendar such as Calendly and DoodlePoll to use features such as creating meeting links and calendar polls. But since the creation of Vimcal, they really targeted or tried to find a solution for the pain points of executive virtual assistants. And for us to avoid using multiple tools or multiple softwares, being able to optimize the different calendar features that we need as executive virtual assistants. That's why I'm very happy that Vimcal EA created this platform or this created this software because it's amazing. I don't have to jump into different softwares. All I have to do is open my Vimcal calendar and all of the features that I need as an executive virtual assistant is readily available here. And the third feature that we're going to talk about right now is the group vote. So how do we get to group vote? All you have to do is click on this green button down below that says select availability, or you can also click the letter A on your keyboard. And here you already have slots and personal links. We already talked about this. Again, you can click on the link in the screen or in the caption down below to head on over to part one and part two of this tutorial. For today, we're going to talk about group vote. Now with group vote, all you have to do or with group vote, I only use group polls. I don't really use group spreadsheet. I haven't really practiced this yet, but I'm very familiar with group polls. Prior to Vimcal, I'm using a uh, different software, which is called Doodle Poll, but everything here is already on Vimcal. That's why I don't need any other feature but just Vimcal. So once we're here, all you have to do is create new poll. And then we can title that poll and say team lunch. And then you can opt to hide votes. This means that you can hide the participant names, comments, and votes. But of course, we don't want that. We want people to be able to see. But if just for example, your client says hide the votes, then you have that option. The nice thing also with Doodle Poll is that it can already create holds for you. So it's very important that you already create holds so no other people can schedule on that meeting hold or that poll hold while you haven't finalized it yet. So the title of our hold is Hold for Team Lunch. Let's change the color to Sage. Duration of our team lunch would be for 45 minutes. And then next thing that we're going to do is we're going to drag when we would like to have our team lunch. So we can have our team lunch, let's say from either Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. And we have Manila time. Now we can add attendees for now, or if we're not strict with attendees, we can leave this blank and then we can just send the link once this is done. Next is you can choose either to meet via Google Meet or Zoom. If you want Zoom to be, to be available, just go to your settings and link your Zoom or log in to your Zoom. Now, the reason why Google Meet is currently available, that's because the calendar that is linked to our Vimcal is Google Meet. You can also leave it as no conferencing if your event or your team launch is in person. 
so we also have here location so if it's going to be an in-person event Vimcal is integrated or is linked to Google Maps or is powered by Google Maps. So all you have to do is type in the address. For example, event would be on McDonald's at New York Times Square. There. And then you can add in the description that you want. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit create. Once we have create, it will provide you with the link. So all you have to do is copy link and you can send this already via email to the people that you would like to invite. You can already send it directly through Vimcal here and have the message or you can copy it to um, your email itself. Now, we would like to view the link that we just created. So let's move to the other screen. Okay, let's copy and paste the URL for that Doodle poll. And here you can already see the choices that we have. So let's have MJ. Let's have MJ vote first. Let's say he would like to vote Wednesday and Thursday. Save. And then this is MJ Weddings, ph at gmail.com. Submit vote. And then for example, another person will be voting. Let's copy and paste that again. And then they will already see MJ already voted. So let's have MJ2 and vote this. Save. And our email would be and submit vote. Third person to vote will be MJ3. And this is the vote. And let's paste and let's have one more MJ4 and here we have all of the votes that are available so now that we have all of the attendees confirming we can go back to Vimcal to see the result Okay, so how are we going to see the results from this view? All we have to do is go to select availability again or click letter A and then go to your group vote and there you will see your team launch. All you have to do is click on view results and here you already have your results. So you can see everybody is available. Majority is on September 4 and September 6. Okay, so we can just choose majority. So for example, this would be September 6. But before we do that, you can see that there is already a hold in your client's calendar when nobody has selected it yet. So all you have to do is view results and then click on 12 p.m. September 6 and click on create. Now, just always make sure to double check the time zone on your on this calendar. So as you can see, it moved to 12 a.m. That's because my calendar currently on my laptop is on EST. Okay, so we have to make sure to um, change that. Okay, so it automatically changed to this because I'm on EST. So it should be six. September 6 at 12 p.m. There you go. So this is the team lunch. Okay. So once that's available, 
we already have the attendees busy default you can add more descriptions you can add noti notifications 10 minutes before you can add conferencing if you want to and then we can just click on team launch final and then we create the event and then it will ask you to send the confirmation via email to all of the attendees so of course we are going to say yes and then just wait for a few minutes there it already released the other hold since we've already finalized it and it already says team launch on your client's calendar And that's how easy it is to create holds or polls on your Vimcal feature. So I'm definitely sure if you are an executive virtual assistant or an aspiring EVA, then this feature or this software is something that you would definitely like. So if you are interested to sign up for Vimcal, all you have to do is click on the link in link of Vimcal in the caption down below. Please take note that Vimcal doesn't have a free feature. They only have paid version for Vimcal EA. So you can inform your client or ask your client if they are interested in signing you up for this software. You can show them this video and all of the other tutorials in this series so that they would know how important this is and how Vimcal can definitely help you be an efficient, effective, and better executive virtual assistant, especially when it comes to calendar management. If you want to learn more how to be an executive virtual assistant, all you have to do is subscribe here on my channel, follow me on my other social media platforms. Everything will be in the link in the caption down below. Thank you so much and I will see you guys in the last part or part four of our Vimcal series.